we just walked through a gate. Well, we're back, boys. Whew, glad to get it out of there. The higher mounts don't seem to be active outside of the park, from what I can tell. Though something still feels off. Feels like something is starting to happen here in Erebonia. That's what you got me. Just saying something doesn't make it sound very good. Let's put that off for now and start with gathering some info. How much control the Noble Alliance has in this area and all that fun stuff. It'd be ideal if we could find out at least that before we get to town. Oh, I know. I asked. There should be a farm bus nearby. Want to start by asking there? Don't see why we shouldn't. Just make sure that you don't end up drawing suspicion. Naturally, I'll be keeping my mouth shut as long as we're in front of people. Got it. I'll show you to the way. <laughs> Let me just break some these dudes' property. Oh, I can't break that? Really? So I can do other stuff, but I can't break that the property like that? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, of course. There's, of course there's monsters here. Yeah, a little farmhouse. Hello, it's been a while, bud. Hey there, who wanted you to be? You don't think I've ever seen you around these parts. Anything we can help you with? You actually look off familiar, young man. Have we met? I'm actually... We're traveling merchants, you see. We just got here too, so we don't exactly have the best grasp of the current situation. That's what we'd appreciate if we could get some info from the locals. Traveling merchants, huh? Must be rough for you guys. Well, I'd be glad to give you a rundown of things if that's what you're looking for. Well, he really is resourceful. <coughs> Thank you. To be honest, it hasn't been too crazy here. In fact, you say it's almost peaceful. There's been no major battles or anything. Yeah, mainly because the Noble Alliance is dominating. Granted, Celtic itself has been pretty tense since everything started. I see. How about your farm, then? Safe to assume things haven't changed much on that front? Not exactly. With all the restrictions on the railroad network, among other things, we've been feeling the, efforts of the effects of the war. The grand market's taken a massive hit, thanks to those train restrictions, too. Which means... <sighs> which only makes our situation worse. Yeah, you know, almost everything we produce here gets sold off at that market. It doesn't help the, that the provincial army's been rec rec pushing goods from people lately, too. <sighs> Here's hoping things go back to normal soon. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir. That might sound like an odd question, but... You haven't seen any fellow students around this area recently, have you? Students? Can't say we have. Why do you ask? No reason. Just curious. Yeah. We'll get out of your hair. Thanks for the update. Should make our lives a bit easier. No worries. You just watch your back if you're going to be here for a while. Thanks for the warning. We'll keep our eyes open. Probably was a stretch to so hope for any of these right here. Well, we did get some info on what the Noble Alliance is up to. But yeah, let's just check out Celtic for now. Don't expect we run into much trouble while we're there. You know the way, right? Yeah, south down the highway. I don't find the fighting thing. I don't know if these guys are going to be as weak as they were before. Probably not. Remember those the tiger dudes that were super annoying. I'd only take a few hours on foot from here. Uh, things over in Trista. If it's bugging you that much, we could always take a look. Do we have the time? Not for detours. Codex right over there. No, we're short on time, but still. It's obvious that it's on your mind. And trust me, people work better if they've got less in their mind to weigh them down. You sure you don't mind? All I wanted to get is a rough idea how things are in the region. That shouldn't take up too much time, I think. I'm up for it. Uh, let's get this over with. Fine. We'll go check. Out. We'll go check. Because I can't like. Enemy I missed. Can I just run? Let's keep moving. Yeah, we got away. Because I was thinking. Ha! Ha! Not, I really don't want to fight anything right now. Oh, chest. I wonder what's inside. Yeats, we're gone. Ha! Oh my word. time on this highway. Oh, yeah? This area wasn't part of your field study then, I'm guessing. Very open, wow. It's not like a very open area. I can't believe what I'm saying. Unless they set up a checkpoint. 
Wow. They should have locked it down. Well, we can't go any farther. All those on my cars, and they've even got a few sold ads on watch too. And I can't believe they've got those things stationed at checkpoints. Looks like this is being really heavily guarded. This route does lead to the capital as well, so that's no surprise. There's no game through here, unfortunately. Sorry, this was a waste of time. No, not at all. Thanks to you, I can get back on focusing on my task at hand. Seriously, thanks. And no need to thank me. To be honest, I was just hoping I'd be able to get in contact with old Mitch. No, I didn't realize you guys were that close. This thing was always around him when he was breaking out sardines. Maybe. I've known him for years. I figured talking to him would be the fastest way to figure out what's going on elsewhere in the country. Oh well. Well, we're not going to achieve much hanging around here. We best get out of here before they spot us. Yeah, we're not too far from Keldic. Yeet for days. Yeets everywhere. And they yeet back this way. A yeet with the sight of another yeet. Okay, I'm good. Oh, what was that? Speed boost! Oh, let's go, boys. Speed is key. Is that drunk gonna still be here? If that drunk is still in that corner, I'm gonna laugh. We gotta find our boys. It's been a while since the last time I was in Keldic. Those farmers said things were tense here, but I was expecting worse. Yeah, it doesn't actually seem that bad, even with the all that the with the odd armored car here and there. It's probably evidence of how much this war is going in the Alliance's favor. Hmm. Huh. So they've not that get to their heads, have they? We should start asking around to see if we can get anything out of the townsfolk. They're hoping someone knows something about the rest of Class 7. Right. Oh, uh, but one warning. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that you're pretty high on the Noble Alliance's wanted list. Even if you're in plain clothing, try not to stand out too much. Otherwise, it's all over. I understood. Okay, let's get to work. So we got the house, we got the inn. Oh, let's just start right here, because it's for right here. What are we starting with? Okay. Uh, really? Can I be... Can I bother to weigh anything else? Especially why the grand mark is dead as it is. Is that a Thor's uniform? Huh? Pretty sure I know your fate. Oh, no, black hair doesn't it? Green? Is that you? Becky? You know her? Yeah, we're in the same year at Thor's. How'd you wind up here, Becky? So hold up. You're the one that should be explaining yourself for yourself first. Tell me about... All about blondie. Hey, while well, you're at it. Okay, I'm just... Okay, maybe we should all calm down a little first. Yeah, explanation. Well, I was... I was daft for thinking I understand any of that. So basically, you're looking for the rest of Class 7. That's the gist of it. You managed to make it from Thor's to here on your own, right? Call me impressed. Truth is, Hugo secured an escape route for us. That's why I managed... I managed to make it all the way here. He was a student working at Clyston Co., if I remember correctly. I hope so. Does that mean he's not here to, here now? I've got nay nay idea where what happened to him after that. We bam chose the worst time to act all cool. Okay, I can't do it. I can't. It might be a little insensitive of me to ask right now, but do you have any info about Thor's with other students? Anything in class seven in particular would be a huge help. The girl I escaped with is over at the church. Other than that I've got nothing. The provincial army don't really care much about us normal students either. Really? Hey. I was questioned a fair bit when I first got here. But after that they just let me do whatever. It's probably enough for them just knowing they can keep an eye on you. The second you start acting suspicious, they can swoop in and toss you in the slammer. And they probably see class seven is the most suspicious of all. Yeah, I know we're We'll have to sleep with one eye open around here. Well, thanks for letting us know, Becky. Just try to lay low for now. Aye aye, that was the plan. Not like I've got the motivation to do anything when the grand market's in this sad state. <sighs> oh, that's out of the way. Hey, little buddy. Tran. Cute little guy. 
fan. My sister's finally come back. I sh shouldn't be happy about it. Mr. Lot, I'm sure not. Okay, the, the the dialect in this game is absolutely not this town. Hey, Kagiya, you don't see me? You didn't see that? At all? Still in the end. Hello? Wait a minute, aren't you one of Sarah's students? What are you doing here with Toval, no less? Hello, ma'am, I see everything. I haven't changed much here. Hey, Margo, you're looking well. Last time we saw each other was when I came for that request, yeah? It's been a while. Toval, <laughs> shouldn't you be in hiding, hey, man? The Provincial Army was searching for you not that long ago. No one seems to suspect us yet, so we should be fine for now. I don't have to notice us as long as we don't do anything too crazy. Uh, well, if you say so. <clears throat> it's a relief to know you're okay. Are you going to be staying here? Well, actually, I'm not sure what we'll be, what we'll be doing for now. More important than we're staying, there's something we like to ask you. Searching for your classmates. Based on what we know, they're somewhere around here. You wouldn't happen to have any leads at all, would you? Hmm. Sorry, I can't do that. We rarely get anyone new coming in as it is thanks to all the train restrictions, and I would only be able to recognize the students who came in with you last time. That's true. Well, just knowing they aren't staying. They aren't staying. Here's a big help. The other thing, they aren't staying here is a big help. By the way, we have heard that things are pretty tense here, but it seems to be relatively peaceful from what I can tell. Well, there hasn't been any direct effect on the town itself. Rumor has it there's been fighting going on over near the eastern border, though. Over by Guerrilla Fortress? Yes, yeah, seems like the Imperial Army is holding their line of defense over there. I saw one of that, too. They say the Provincial Army is struggling to break through it. The Twin Dragons Bridge is over that way, too, actually. They must be fighting with the troops there. Yes, well, that's why a lot of us are worried. They're fighting that close... But then, who knows when Kedek will get caught up in it. That is an unfortunate possibility. The market manager's been doing what he can to prevent the worst. But the provincial army doesn't exactly inspire confidence in their willingness to keep us safe, you know. Eh, if only this war would just be over and done with. I feel you. Thanks for the info, Margo. Or, yeah, I think it's Margo. You be sure to watch your back, alright? Same to you, same to you too. Be careful out there. Be careful out there. Okay. So I saw a group of three people. The three? Yes. By a shot. This is the Grand Market, huh? Pretty lively. Not as lively as it was, though. Oh, never mind. Yeah. This ain't the market I know. Flank them. Go whoa, on top of their heads. Oh, no, let's talk to the nun, not the soldiers. Oh, they're drunk. <laughs> Come on, we just want your company for a while. There's no need to resist, you pretty thing. You, we don't buy it. Well, my apologies, but I'm in the middle of doing some work for the church, and. I happen to be underage too, so. Come on now, we need to be so quick. No need to be so quick to say no. Let's get into the guardhouse, pour us a few drinks, and you'll be fine. If you really want to come with us, though, we do have other. Op if you really don't want to come with us, though, we do have other options open to us. Be surprised how easy it is to bring a girl like you in. We don't even need a good reason to arrest you. Uh, bye. See, that's for real. There's no. There has to be a way to stop them. Hold on, let me handle this one. <coughs> I don't. I don't die first. Goodness me, you wouldn't happen to be soldiers for the provincial army, would you? Huh? Well, look at me. Couldn't have asked for better timing. You see, I was kind of hoping for a teeny favor from you guys. <gasps> Who the hell are you? beat it. Hey, hey, we're all friends here, right? Here, let's roll some out some instructions. Call me Phil. I'm just your average friendly contractor looking for some good business partners, so to speak. 
Hearing about your valiant accomplishments during this war, I just knew I had to work with you directly. That's why I was kind of hoping you'd put in a good word for me with the head honchos over at your guardhouse. Excuse me? Hmm. And why would we ever do that for a love for a lowly merchant? You sure should you sure you should be making that assumption? You could be missing out. I hate to brag, but my reputation's pretty up there. Who knows? You might even get your name out there for introducing me. Hmm. Come on, don't let a guy down. Actually here, maybe this will help convince you. Wait, oh, wait just a second. It's fine, it's fine. Think of it as a little gift if you want. So what do you say, fellas? You're under arrest. Good grief. Well, we've got no reason to turn his <laughs> gift down. Phil, was it? We'll pass your name on, but I wouldn't hold my breath. That's what I like to hear. That one dude is so out of it. Look at look at the way he's walking. That poor dude. Wow. Ta-da! Tell me impressed. Tell me the where did Phil come from? It's just one of the names I used to go by. But hey, I managed to sort that out nice, nice and discreetly, though, right? Looks like you have definitely earned their name. Thanks for the help, Tavon. Thought I was going to have to resort to force, but I'm glad you were able to resolve things. Without even having to reach for your weapon. <laughs> no problem. And where are you all right, sister? Yes, thank you very much for your help. Rain, what are you doing here? Rosine? Oh, another acquaintance of yours? Yeah, she's another first year like me. Glad to see you're safe and sound, Rosine. Likewise, would you mind accompanying me to the church? Staying here for too long may draw unwanted attention. Sounds good to me. After you. The church will be able to have our special meetings at midnight. After they walked to the church, Rain took the time to explain how and why they were in Celtic. So you're searching for the rest of Class 7? I can tell you you've been through some rather trying times. Well, I'm not the only one. Sounds like you had it rough, too. You and Becky escaped together, didn't you? I heard Hugo's the one who told you how, how to. That's correct, though. We did end up splitting up with him along the way. I've been taking shelter here ever since. All while praying as much as possible for everyone else's safety. Any chance you've heard anything about the other students, or maybe even the academy itself? We're trying to figure out as much as we can. Unfortunately, I don't know anything. That's a shame. But the important thing is that you're safe. Actually, on that note, is the provincial army always that bad? Kind of messed up that they're getting flat out hammered in the middle of the day. That's relatively common occurrence, guys. They'll often get drunk and start breaking things or taking goods from people's stalls without paying. Sometimes other merchants can do anything to stop it either. Nobody wants to have their goods requisitioned. Hmm, sounds like the soldiers who aren't on the front lines have a lot of free time on their hands. Keldick hasn't been swept up into any battle so far, so yeah. Well, be sure to take extra care from here on out, Rosine. Make sure to give the soldiers a wide berth. Thank you for your concern. I'll be praying for you to be reunited with the rest of Class 7 too. Thanks. That makes two of us. So, nothing. I think we've asked almost all the towns by this point, and yet there's a with clue. You sure they're really here? I kind of find it hard to believe your friends have gotten by without a single person noticing them. Tell them my detectives, they have to be somewhere in the area. If they're not here in town, then they're either on the highway or somewhere else in this general region, right? I hope they're holding up okay. Hey there, you two seem like you've got time to kill. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll picking up a copy of the Imperial Chronicle. The latest volume's got a boatload of handy information. And it comes at low, low price of beer. Not bad, huh? Uh, uh, we've got a pushy one here, don't we? Sorry, kid, but we're kind of busy at the moment. Whatever, just take one already. You're gonna regret it if you don't. I mean it. It's gonna be nothing but regret. Well, I guess it can't hurt. Thanks. She, she really wanted that sale. I think I was ever seen someone. I don't think I have ever seen someone that desperate to sell a newspaper before. He did have a point, though. Reading the newspaper is a great way to get a better idea of what's going on. Sure enough. Let's give it a read. Seriously. It's more like a menu. No lands. Forces keep winning. Okay. Rebellious elements of all the country. Proceeding smoothly. Very smoothly, in fact. With the least uh, reporting 60% of the country. Okay. One victory after another. Okay. 
the other soldats are overpowered. Basically, they're overpowering everything. Commanding officer spoke. Uh, but, uh, sure. Flying in the front line. So the two generals are flying in the front lines with their armies at their side. Needless to say, moral morale is astonishing high. Have so much hard as we won't. Plenty more to rest in the days to come. Okay. Okay, we're on our travel. Okay, we're doing this for so long. Citizens who have peerages will have higher will have priority when purchasing tickets line their travel more easily. Wow, that's messed up. Yamagi's dad has been arrested, so all of a sudden the Imperial Army and all the high ranking formers are traitors, huh? Imperial Chronicle's not even trying to be impartial these days. It's safe to assume the Alliance has completely control over it. Most likely it looks like the Alliance is so sure of the victory they're getting things ready for when the war's over. That's how to do it if you want things to go your way. They're a cunning bunch. Hmm? Something stuck on the, on the last page. Ah, it's a sneaky. Can I write a piece of paper? A map. Is the way? It's the Eastern Highway. I remember the symbols on it. There's more stuff written on the back, too. What takes the queen hold the key to the king? Sort of code. It's gotta be. Please tell me this isn't from who you think it is. Those real phantom thief be his usual weirdness. Except nothing's been stolen this time, so I doubt it's him. I symbols in the layout of the map. I see a chest. Machias! Thank you, Toval. Yes, maybe it does! It does look like a chessboard. But wait, that must mean. Assume that the, these code letters each represent a different. Chess piece, in which case, the white cube must represent the queen. There's like B and a P representing the bishop pawn. And look at me, I don't know anything about the games you people play. All I need to know is that he's onto something. Assuming your theory is right, then solving the message written on the other side should be too hard. Yeah, hopefully. You want to head to the highway? Yep, best thing we've got. Alright, that's definitely Machius though. Okay, which one are we going to? Which highway? Which highway is it? I don't know what- Oh, okay, so one, oh, it's east of the highway. That helps. Actually, I forget. I already forgot. Okay, let's get looking. I've got the map handy if we need to look up anything. Yo, <gasps> yeet. Yeet for days, yeet for days, yeet for days. Old key. Here we go. Can't believe the message actually pointed us to a key. Figured this was the spot. First off, the one who takes the queen referred to the bishop as position to take the queen. Here's the bishop symbol on the map corresponds to right here. Nice. See, we're on the right track. Only question now is where's the lock for this key? Key. To, it's the key to the king, but it doesn't mention where the king is. Hold on. There's another note in the chest. Ah. King lurking within his, his fortress. Take him, and your path shall be clear. More chest shenanigans, huh? What's different from the riddle we just solved? Yeah, don't see why it would be. Our goal is this time is to take the king. All I do is sense figure out which piece of the map can accomplish that. The queen! Oh, actually, wait. Uh. 
Actually, maybe not. Do it's checkmate for our mysterious friend. Okay, I should sign up the windmill, so we have to go back. Yeet. 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 We can actually go one more now. Say this is where that message was pointing to. Yeah, that has to be it. I love quest markers. It's locked. Let's try that key we just found. Lock the door using the old key. Bingo! That was easy. I'm the only one responsible for the riddles is inside. There's someone inside at any rate. I haven't any suspicions suspicion of who it is. Oh, it's not that difficult! Come on, guys! It's Machius! At least Machius. I mean, he's the chess guy. Ready to go in now? Pull out your sword. Cut off his head. Let's save, just in case the game explodes when I try to walk in the door. Huzzah! Okay, we're good. We didn't explode or die. There you are. That didn't sound like Machias, but it's definitely Machias, though. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. I knew it. Mm-hmm. I was right. Okay, so this one's... So Machias is here. Machias! Wow, he looking spiffy. I like the outfit. <laughs> I knew you'd be able to solve my riddle. If anyone could, it's you. <clears throat> uh, and, um, you look well, Reen. <sighs> Give him a hug. Whoa, Reen! <laughs> oh, come on! Y'all are friends, man. Take it easy there. I'm just so glad you're all right. When we parted that day, I... I honestly thought I would never get to see you again. <laughs> Come on, Reen. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, at least he kind of fucked us back. Of losing our lives in that battle. You knew that was true too, right? That's why you're here now, trying to find us. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you're right. Uh, honestly, I wasn't sure if you were trying to hug me or hold me down at first, but I couldn't be more happy to see you again. Thanks for never giving up on us. His glasses are inside my head. <sighs> I think the tearful reunion's gone on long enough now. <laughs> the talking cat. S Celine? Still a talking cat, I see. And I think I remember you. You're a bracer, if I recall correctly. Yeah, that's right. They've been helping me out for quite a while now. <laughs> Good memory. We never really talked much when we met on the Courageous, did we? Name's Toval. Toval Ramdenor. Mind filling us in on what you've been up to all this time? We'll tell you about what's been happening on our end, too. Well, you of course know everything up till you flew off aboard Valimar last month. No sir, had you left, we received some very unexpected help from none other than the Courageous. The Courageous, huh? Looks like an RC on board? Yeah. We were dead set on fighting the Ezra Knight no matter what the consequences. Doing some men or deaths, I think we were ready to accept that. Before we could even make the choice, we suddenly heard a booming voice from above. It shouted, now is not your time to fall with honor in battle. Not when you have dreams left to fulfill. Flee and live to fight another day. It was the voice of none other than Vicon Arseed. <laughs> that does sound like him. Yeah, yeah, it does. We did hesitate at first, but then we resolved to take his advice and escape. Thanks to the courageous drawing his attention, we were able to avoid being pursued by the Azure Knight. And splitting into three groups, we fled from Trista as fast as we could. Do you have any idea what happened to the courageous after that? I'm afraid not. It flew off with a knight in pursuit. I haven't seen or heard from it since. Hope everything, everyone on board is all right. We're talking about the Radiant Blade Master. I'd be more worried about the Azure Knight. <laughs> yeah, probably. So you escaped to Keldic. Essentially, I managed to escape with Fee and Elliot. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, well, I got one wrong. That means... Okay, so it was Fee and Elliot. I said Elliot and... So I, I still got two out of three. Not sure how the others were split up, though. Really? They're here, too? Well, they're out at the moment, but yes. The market manager and Keller proposed we use this windmill as a hideout, so we've been staying here the past month. 
It's been enough to help us look into a way to turn this country around, as well as try and find any out information we could that will lead us to you. Ah, well, you found me. Sounds like you three have been busy. Well, look who's talking. I can't imagine going through what you did when seeing your sister and Princess Alpha and take it from you like that. Now that none of us would hesitate for a second to help you rescue them. Thanks, Makis. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, so you were the one who made up those riddles, right? Was the kid selling us the newspaper in on it? Huh, <laughs> you're correct on both counts. We received a report from a rival source in town that said someone resembling Rain had been spotted. Could have probably chosen a simpler method to get your attention, but what's done is done. Only you would make us run around solving a riddle using chess metaphors. You're sure this isn't a phantom thief bee's influence rubbing off on you? Okay, Liss probably more definitely should have chosen a simpler method. <clears throat> Regardless, I can hardly wait to tell Elliot and Fee that you're safe. They'll be overjoyed as I was once they find out. Do you know where they went? Yeah, they're out trying to find a way to head farther east along the border with Crossbill. We want to go. We want to go to what? We want to go to what remains of Grelia Fortress. Grelia Fortress. Oh yeah. Margaret did say there were soldiers from the Imperial Army over in that area. Yeah, they're using the they're using the proving ground near where the fortress used to be as a base at the moment. Specifically, Lieutenant General Craig's division is stationed there. Fourth Armor Division. Well, you couldn't ask for a better last line of defense. You're trying to get in contact with them, right? Precisely. We've believe that might help us find some way to turn things around. While they're out, I'm staying here and proving back, uh, providing backup while acting as a, a liaison. It should be long before they give their post periodic update. They can appraise them on the situation and arrange to meet when they do. Got it. Guess we'll have some free time until then. Do you know if there's anything more we can do around here? I hate to sit and do nothing. I thought we head back to town. I want to have a good look at the surrounding area and see if there's any info I can pick up. Sounds like an excellent idea. Let's head to Keldic. Marcus joined the party. Hey, there we go. So, yeah. Bring it back, he's gonna use overdrive. Okay. I feel like a link. Oh my word, Marcus is a cheesy power leveled. Holy crap, Reen is a weak little scrub. Jeez, Marcus when Oh, what is it? Oh, he's level what, 43? Oh my word, he's bad. Actually, honestly. We're gonna stay in here. Well. Let's do a quick save a Rooney. Well, thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you licked it, lick down below. Subscribe above. Just kidding. Describe. Because subscribing is overrated. Break the bell button because the bell button is stupid. Now we'll see you guys. One day. Peace out.